self-driving cars are just around the next bend. On this test track are two existing production models automatically steering, braking and crucially avoiding each other. But under current rules the driver has to be in control. The big change now being written into the highway code allows the car to take over. Well, in this vehicle it's telling you to put your hands back on the wheel because this is an assisted driving vehicle. With an autonomous vehicle, you'll be able to take your hands off the wheel and your eyes off the road and look What's at the screen, screen and, and watch TV. You won't be able to use a mobile, tablet or read a book. The logic being you might miss the car's instructions to take over. But the rules could change as fast as the technology does. It's a big jump to go between the driver driving and the vehicle driving. So these systems are only going to work at low speed, in queuing traffic only about 37 miles an hour and only in queuing traffic on certain motorways. But the systems will get better. The highway code is still being drafted, but out on the highway itself, the test will be whether it clearly defines where drivers and vehicle manufacturers' liabilities begin and end. It's important that whenever we have new technology, the liabilities are looked at very carefully uh, and ultimately it's important that drivers know what they're responsible for, manufacturers know what they're responsible for uh, and actually uh, that we are all striving towards the same goal, which is to make our roads fundamentally much safer. If the legalities are clear, insurers support automated driving because it could reduce accidents. Leading car makers have said they'll accept liability if the vehicle is driving at the time of a crash. Look, no hands. Speak to the automotive industry and they'll tell you that the technology for automated driving is effectively already here. The government now hopes its new highway code is fit for purpose. So the question is, is the driving public ready? Absolutely not. Why not? Because I don't think the technology has advanced far enough. For me, it would be an absolute no. If we're not letting people use their mobile phones, why are we letting them watch telly even if they're sitting in traffic? You still need to be aware of your surroundings and what you're, what you're doing. You've got a car that, that potentially can take you from A to B and you don't have to put any energy or effort into it. Why wouldn't you? It's the future. We all know that. That's why they're doing all the work they're doing. Like the idea or not, self-driving cars are just about to shift themselves up a gear. The first fully automated car could go on sale in the UK as early as this autumn. Tom Clark, Sky News, Oxfordshire.